Hi guys, how are you going? I hope you've had a great day. Just wanted to um, post a really quick Aussie haul this time. Um, that's all I'm posting until I'm through all of this stuff is hauls. My goodness, I have been busy. So, um, stuff by Lush tonight um, because I have been going in every week for the last few weeks looking for uh, something for my cuticles. I did recently get the Burt's Bees um, in a previous haul actually, the Burt's Bees um, cuticle cream and I like that, that's okay, haven't been using it you know, every second night or anything like that, just when I'm doing my nail polish and the cuticles look like they need some work, um, that's when really I would use a cuticle product, but what I ultimately have been looking for is the Lush Lemony Flutter and the Lush here uh, in Western Australia has been out of stock of Lemony Flutter for weeks and weeks and then the actual truck went missing um, that was bringing everything over and the girls at Lush and everyone at Lush in Western Australia actually had no idea um, where the truck full of stock was. So it's been a great adventure trying to find this lemony flutter but I did go in tonight looking for a few items and finally they had it in stock. So it does smell smells delicious. I love it. It is cuticle butter and um, I think that is something uh, something that you can um, rub into your heels and your elbows and toes or if you have really dry you know anything you can rub that in. It smells divine. It's There's a lot in there if it was something you were just planning on uh, using on your cuticles so you could definitely go to town on your elbows or your heels if you needed to and what I liked about it that is that it is good for at least a year. There is so much product in there that I did check the expiration date was the first thing I did when I put it off the shelf. So really looking forward to trying that. Something else I was on the lookout for was um, there, you probably saw in a previous video, the allergic reaction to the, I think it was the Napro palette hair colour. I'm just wanting to go a little bit um, darker and um, richer. I haven't had my, you know, hair coloured for... Um, quite a while and you can see there's quite a difference and uh, I think probably Drew Barrymore has even moved on from the is it called balayage or something like that so I just want to get a little bit richer and something a little bit more um, you know in common between the two parts the bit that's colored and the natural regrowth so um, and I do have allergic reactions to a lot of the um, you know commercial over-the-counter if I go to a hairdresser it's really not that much of a problem but sometimes I just don't feel like um, having a hairdresser do it so um, I've been looking for an alternative and I've been researching um, the hennas on Lush's website and they've gotten actually pretty good reviews if you have the time it's all natural ingredients and um, the reviews are pretty positive if you don't mind the effort that you need to put into it um, you know you need to actually grate up the um, the bar it actually looks like chocolate I got the caca um, caca maroon and this is like the um, readier or more auburn kind of chestnutty color I think from what I read a lot of henna sort of um, coats the hair shaft from what I could tell from the lady in the store and um, so a lot of people report you know not only the color but that it's thicker it's like putting varnish over wood sort of thing with your hair cuticles thicker shinier hair so I'm looking forward to that because I could do with a bit of thicker shinier hair and um, basically it's like 25 bucks it's not cheap but it's about three different um, hair dyes in there so you would this is what it looks like a big huge block of chocolate they come in a black color a brown color a red color and um, more of an auburny um, color and which I think is this one this is like the chestnutty color and you break off or you cut off like two of these blocks and then you grate it up like in a grater and mix it with hot water until you get a you know paste like consistency like hair conditioner or other home hair coloring products put it in your hair you either leave it or wrap it in like glad wrap or a shower cap and you leave it anywhere from three to eight hours the longer you leave it obviously the better the color and then it takes a couple goes to wash it out apparently and i think they've got like sorry about all that noise I think they've got like coffee, natural coffee grounds in there and some of the reviews have been that people have had a, you can see my hands got stuff on it, people have had a hard time washing coffee grounds out of their hair but I don't really care about that, um, you know, it'll wash out eventually if I have to do however many washes, I'll do however, however many washes but I'm looking forward to seeing how that leaves my hair, so pretty excited about that. Um, only concern is apparently when you have henna in your hair you should not lighten it weird strange things happen to your hair when you've got henna in there so uh, I'd probably have to think twice about highlights and stuff like that although um, this henna does not have any mineral salts in it which apparently can make your hair go a bit crazy so 
um, that's one thing apparently it has going for it that doesn't have mineral salts so there you go I'm learning here but I'll definitely report back about that when, when I've got some time I might try and start early on a weekend night or early in the afternoon and leave it in for eight hours with a shower cap on my head or something and I also tried, tried the tea tree or I'm getting the tea tree water toner um, it says tone detoxify and refresh oily skin with tea tree grapefruit and juniper I do have oily skin so that would be great I don't currently use a toner take control of those troublesome pores a best seller for normal to oily skin use on cotton wool to remove excess cleanser and to refresh the skin and I got this with the thought that maybe um, it doesn't have alcohol in it and um, it doesn't have oils in it apparently like their other ones it's got tea tree water grapefruit water juniper berry water um, limonene perfume methyl paraben um, but um, it's not the same ingredients as like fix plus spray but I thought I might just give it a try for that too and just see how that looks you know if ever I'm powdery I don't know facial spray and it's really not that expensive especially for lush so I thought I'd give it a go very last item I got was one of their solid perfumes I have tried these before and when I actually um, sprayed you know their fragrance oils or whatever they are the, the, they've got three different grades of fragrance they've got these solid ones which I which are the cheapest and I think they you know are the, the least long-lasting uh, fragrance and then they've got another one another sort of spray and then an even heavier spray like a you know an eau de toilette and an eau de parfum that's not what they call them but different grades of fragrances basically and when I went to test them when initially the um, fragrances came into the store I used the strongest one and I did a spray of one on one wrist and a spray of another on the other and it stunk me out for the whole day. It was just whoa, really overpowering. And um, But I went back when I was in, I just went back and had another smell of just the solid perfumes. This one is Lust and it's pretty inoffensive. I really liked it. Um, it goes on actually a little bit pinky if you can see that on my wrist. So um, you just sort of push it up, push it up. And um, it's just a nice, um, pretty, pretty um, floral smell. What does it say? No, no real description in here about what the smell is. It's got yellow, well actually it has, um, you know, jojoba oil, castor oil, candeli candelia wax, uh, jasmine. Yeah, I smell jasmine. Rose absolute, do you smell that? Ylang ylang. Absolute, do smell that. Vanilla, absolute, not so much. Sandalwood, a little bit. So they're the smells in there. It's quite nice. I wanted the vanillary one as well. It was be that was my favourite, and um, it reminds me of something from my childhood that I still can't figure out. But I loved it, and um, they're out of stock of that. So again, I'll wait for another truck to get lost on the Nullarbor on its way over to Western Australia, and eventually I'm sure they'll get a vanillary solid perfume in. We'll see how long that takes. Um, also, just a quick stop at Priceline. Not quite comparable to uh, Sephora, but the closest thing we've got here for drugstore brands, at least, or closest thing we've got to a Walgreens, really, with all the cosmetic drugstore brands. And um, what I was excited about is that they finally got um, L'Oreal in stock. And not too bad. I think they're charging $9.99 uh, a can over here, which is pretty good. And um, I had a $3 off voucher as well as a Priceline member. So I got the L'Oreal L Net Satin in the Absolute Extreme Hold Natural Touch. And also the L'Oreal L Net Very Volume Supreme Hold with um, Pro Keratin. So um, what I do like about L'Oreal is that um, the ones that I've had before, and these are slightly different looking and the names are different to the ones I got in America, but, um, you know, they don't make your hair too stiff. They seem to good, do a pretty good job of holding your hair throughout the day and, um, and they do disappear with the stroke of a brush. It's written on every bottle that um, it disappears at the stroke of a brush and um, I've been really impressed with the uh, L-Net that I've used in the past. Uh, from the states so hopefully these are something similar we'll see which one I prefer as far as hold and all of that stuff and I'm very excited that it's here in Priceline really easy to get at a really reasonable price so that is about it for the day hope you enjoyed that have a great day and we'll see you soon bye